it's been a while since I make, made a video. Um, I got a message, an interesting message from Mr. Ranjit. He's actually based in Kuwait. Uh, he's actually working in MOH and um, he has messaged me, Hi Shri, I'm working as a nurse in Kuwait, uh, Kuwait MOH. He's getting salary around 1.8 lakhs Indian rupees. Then that too is tax free. Uh, so his question is, is it a good, uh, good move to uh, to move from Kuwait to UK. What is my suggestions? Uh, uh, that he's currently a bit confused and he's working uh, there for the last four years. So he want me to give a suggestion on um, on making a move. So the first thing I want to answer is Ranjit, if you're making that sort of money, if you're making almost 1.8 to 2 lakhs of Indian rupees, that's a good bit of salary. That means you are actually making good bit of money. So if money is what you're thinking about, if money is your primary concern, please stay where you are. Because if you actually make a move to UK or Ireland, it's something similar that as a nurse you'll be able to earn. You have your limitations as a nurse. You can only work, um, you know, something around 48 hours and you might be getting paid from 16 to eight, between 16 to 18 euro per hour. So definitely, um, if money is a concern, please stay where you are because you're getting one of the best salaries in, uh, in around the countries. The, the major thing, but the major thing which I want to address is the lifestyle. So... In Middle East, I have loads of family and friends those who actually work and live in Middle East. Uh, they're there for many, many years. One thing which I've noticed is the lifestyle, what you get in, uh, in Middle East is entirely different from what we can experience in Europe. So especially a country like UK or Ireland, the European laws are very much, um, very much supportive to all, uh, all different sort of immigrants. Uh, like uh, I'm from India myself, and basically, um, you know, in, if you if I if I was in Middle Eastern countries, I would have been uh, treated as a second citizen. But in countries like UK and Ireland, um, th there is no difference in that. So if you are actually uh, from uh, India or Philippines, uh, you will be treated as the, as alike as the citizens in UK or Ireland. So that's a brilliant thing. And especially if you have a family, if you're single, basically, it doesn't matter where you live because uh, end of the day, you're making money, you're single, you just have your, you work and you, you enjoy your life. But if you are actually with your family, your uh, highest priority will be your family itself. So what you have to think about is, about the children's education, about uh, about their uh, the, the lifestyle, what you get. Because once you once you actually live in UK or Ireland, your lifestyle will be very different. You you might own a, own or rent a big house, um, three or four bedroom house, and um, and you might own a car. These things will be quite common in countries like UK and Ireland. But uh, people those who are living in Middle East, they uh, because of the because of the huge rates of, uh, rates of rent and everything. You have to actually live. Um, you have to share with your friends or other families as well. So it's the 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 living cost will be so higher in Middle East. The living costs will be will be higher, but the, the standard of living will be way, way too higher in UK and Ireland. So that's one thing that uh, that's another thing you have to consider. Another thing I want to say is working conditions because in in um, uh, Middle East, my friends also are working. They are working uh, five to six days a week. They're constantly uh, working their shifts as a nurse. But once you come to UK or Ireland, you will be uh, located maybe three to four days per week maximum. So it depends again. Legally, you can you can work anything up to forty eight hours over a week. So that's like three to four long days or long nights, depending on your shifts, what role you are in. Uh, so that's that's uh, that's the legal sort of working hours. So and also you as an employee have plenty more rights than an employer. So it doesn't matter if you're from India or Philippines or Africa or anywhere else. You as an employee have hundreds of rights than an employer. So, uh, uh, so basically, unions like INMO, SIP2, these all unions are supporting um, uh, local as well as international ca uh, international candidates. So, if you're in the country and you have any issues, you have a good sort of support. It doesn't matter where you come from or what you do, you have complete control and you have complete sort of support as well. So, in a sense, workload, work-wise, is actually brilliant because I would I could I would recommend somebody if uh, if they're thinking about um, thinking about lifestyle as well as work conditions, uh, work-life balance, everything. 
definitely you have to uh, you have to choose UK or Ireland uh, or any other countries like Australia is one of the uh, one of the other thing Australia New Zealand um, Canada UK or Ireland these countries are very good in in terms of work life balances and your standard of life etc when compared to Middle East but if you're thinking about making money please stay where you are so guys if you have more questions like these please shoot down in the comment below I'll try to address as much as I can so guys till then I'll see you with another video please like share and subscribe to our uh, channel and please do like our Facebook page Hirehood see you later with another video bye